Hey yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude Chris from YouTube and welcome back. Hopefully for the last time to At Dead of Night. We're gonna finish it in this video. We are finishing At Dead of Night in this video. We only have 78% of the story completed. And with all the items found, I believe that we can easily finish the story if we pair things together properly and avoid Jimmy correctly. I thought that I was on the ground floor when I last left off, but apparently I am in room 304. Don't know when this happened, but I'm going to try to get down to the ground floor because I think we need to get back to the stage in order to continue Rose's story. So can I do it? Let's find out. I don't even know where I'm at in relation. I think there's a dead end this way. Yeah. You're gonna do what for me? It's kinda weird, bro. Wow! All these dark rooms on the third floor. I can't. It's okay. We just started the game. Can't be that bad. Hi, Jimmy. I'm going to put an end to your reign of terror. We're going to stop this tonight. Go, 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 go. I'm a speedy bitch. I'm a speedy bitch. I'm a speedy bitch. Ground, 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 ground. The ground floor is definitely where we needed to be. If I didn't know that before, I sure as hell know it now. Is it out here? Okay. Just his ah! It's his sense of humor. I'm sorry if you've been offended. Uh, excuse me. Damn. I was really trying my best not to get jump scared by that. <laughs> ah. You know, every every time I'm always like, be prepared. I wasn't prepared this time. Is it Rose? Is it Rose? You're the only one I could be talking to now. Hi, Rose. I saw you in the ballroom. The audience was booing and you were apologizing. What was happening? All of his actions are stupid. He did something stupid. Now, what could that have been? Um, coil of wire? When you said Jimmy lost his temper and did something stupid, is that connected to what you said about the coil of wire? She's done up! She should have done both! She should have pressed charges and then told the newspaper! Hello? Hang on, hang on. I can figure this out. Who is it? Somebody answer the goddamn phone. Maybe I just chill for a second. Oh, 
my god! <laughs> it made it harder to avoid being jump scared that time because I thought that I needed to be further out by the phone. Whatever, I'm not gonna explain myself to you guys. What? Is it Rose? Is it Rose? Is it, am I still talking to Rose? Fine, 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 you piece of shit, fine. I saw you upset. People were knocking on the door asking questions. Who were they? Journalists. They wanted Jimmy. Let them have him. Jimmy wasn't in control. I don't give a shit. No, it wasn't. All right, that's clearly the bags. Yo, I am on my shit today. It's either the bags or um, the note. When you said Jimmy wanted to leave everything behind and go, is that connected to what you said about the suitcases? Yeah, okay, it's the note. When you said Jimmy wanted to leave everything behind and go, is that connected to the goodbye note? Good! He'd been fighting Hugo Punch all his life. It was inside him, making him do all those bad things. <laughs> hey, yep. Jimmy didn't want that was to a live anymore. Okay. Two. Don't make me go back up to the floors! Now! Okay. I am not going to defend Jimmy or Hugo or whoever the fuck because I know that disassociative identity disorder and having multiple split personalities is a real thing. And I know that it can cause you to do a lot of things that you yourself would not do. But the lying and the actions that he took against the people here in the hotel, it's between Jimmy being fully aware of what he was doing to Amy, Harvey, and um, Dr. Bose, or it being Hugo, and he like is just taking back seat because he has no control over Hugo's actions. I don't, I don't know how it works. I don't have, I don't have split personalities. I don't have that kind of identity disorder. But somebody should have done something a lot sooner. It shouldn't have taken a woman being tied up from a comedy act for them to go, this kid's insane. I'm sorry, I'm done now. But holy shit, somebody should have done something sooner. If she wasn't such a fucking helicopter mom, or not even that, she wasn't. That's the problem. If she had actually listened to what people were saying, actions could have been taken. Uh, 222? Is he seriously up here already? I'm at a dead end too. Okay, I'm gonna go across the hall. I'm gonna go across the hall. I have a squeezed, clenched asshole. Okay. No problem. No problem at all. It's probably, it's probably got to do with something out in the hall, but I would rather not be out there right now. Okay. All right. All right. Ah! Jeez. I think her realizing that something happened to her son was a lot more frightening than than the actual jump scare. Okay. Uh Is it Rose? Is it Rose? 
Is it Rose? Yes. I feel like I feel like the voice actress not even the voice actress, it's the literal actor or actress. I think that she should have had at least one line for the is it blank for each like person that she's talking to. Is it Amy? Is it Harvey? <laughs> I don't know why those two lines are my favorite. The is it Harvey and Maya? I don't know why I like those so much. I saw you in a room upstairs. It looked like you found someone in the bathroom. Upstairs? What We're happened? still upstairs. What the fuck do you mean? It was Jimmy. He tried to kill himself. That's why I had to tell him the truth. What was the truth? Oh, what was the truth? Does it have something to do with the ring? When you said you had to tell Jimmy the truth, is that connected to the wedding ring? I don't know. Aw, man. Oh, the suitcases. The suitcases. Suitcases. When you said you had to tell Jimmy the truth, is that connected to what you said about the suitcases? What? Um, hello? Well, this is kind of a problem. Rose didn't have an answer for the bloodstained cloth. Jimmy bought the trophies to make it look like he'd won awards. We haven't paired this with anything. Because when I thought that this was paired, it was when she said that Jimmy found a way to bring guests into the hotel. But it was actually the Hugo poster. So, it could be the trophies? I don't know how that would have to do with anything. When you said you had to tell Jimmy the truth, does that have anything to do with what you said about the trophies? No. Shit. 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 Uh, I'm limited. I'm limited to how many questions I can ask because I've already failed asking three questions. So I'm thinking it's either between the violent drawings, the chef's hat, because the truth could have been like, oh, the chef was your daddy and we had to, he died. He cheated on me and so I had to kill him. I don't know. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Okay, wait, the paddle belonged to her husband. Did we? No, that wouldn't have anything to do with telling him the truth. But it's the only thing that relates to her husband. I'm really leaning towards these violent pictures, but I know it's not going to be right. But I'm going to try anyways. When you said you had to tell Jimmy the truth, does that have anything to do with what you said about those violent pictures? That's not going to be it. Ah. Uh, okay. So just how long exactly do I have to wait before I can contact the spirit again? Do I just leave the room and go back in? That would be nice. Is it Rose? No, it's not that simple. How long do I have to wait? Looking at the things that we have and have not tried. Let's go to my found items. So it wouldn't be the mirrors. I don't think it'd be the goodbye note. I'm really banking on these bats. No. The dagger was a present from someone. Maybe that's the truth of where the dagger came from. Paddle maybe. Maybe Jimmy is traumatized from getting beaten with the paddle. And that's why he's got the split personality so that he can get back at people. And the truth was that his father used to beat him. I'm going to try that. When you said you had to tell Jimmy the truth, is that connected to what you said about the wooden paddle? Probably not. Fuck! Uh... Uh... So now my options are nailed down to the chef's hat and the sports bat. Or no, the dagger. Oh, I really want to try. When you said you had to tell Jimmy the truth, does that have anything to do with what you said about the dagger?
Oh, I'm gonna strangle you. I'm gonna strangle you. <sighs> you guys know how I feel about using the scrying mirror. I have been... I've been very preservative about my uses because I do not like to use it. It feels like cheating. But if the game mechanic is there and you're getting stuck, it was just doing that thing because whatever. Did I not pair the ring? Was the ring not the first thing that I tried? Is it right? No, you're fucking with me. You're actually, you're fucking with me. Cause the ring was the first thing that I tried, I swear. No, not that. When you said you had to tell Jimmy the truth, is that connected to the wedding ring? See, what does that have to do with the ring? I don't even think that we made a match for the man shouting and child crying. I never knew what he wanted. There was only one thing I could give him. I feel like that's gotta be the wedding ring. I, but I feel like I've also tried that before as well. You said there was only one thing you could give Hugo. Is that connected to the wedding ring? I am actually confused now. And the scrying mirror isn't helping. I saw someone on stage. A performer, announcing himself as the Great Hugo. He was a magician and an entertainer. He bought the hotel to promote his stage show. He became famous. He was on television. I worked as his assistant. Then things developed. Oh. Wait. Wait. When you said things developed with Hugo, is that connected to the wedding ring? The great Hugo. Yes. We were married. We were happy at first. Before things started to change. Okay. That kind of helps none. So then this is the Hugo that she's, the great Hugo was the one that she was talking about. Jimmy in the bathroom and the ring, maybe I can pair those now? When you said you had to tell Jimmy the truth, is that connected to the wedding ring? Rose? Rose? Is my game broken? Rose? So after pairing the great Hugo with the wedding ring, she said that they were married and that they were happy at first before things started to change. To which I then think that we have to pair this with something. But what's the one thing that she could give him? Bomb ass head? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> I'm gonna use this drying mirror. At what point was I supposed to know this? Girl, why are you breathing so damn hard?
Wait, I never checked this room. Toy for a baby. How come I never checked this room? It was locked before, right? Hold on, hold on. No, no, because you're fucking with me. 305 was a locked room. So m maybe it was locked because I hadn't progressed far enough for the story. So then I should go back and check all the rooms that were locked, right? Future Chris here. How's everyone doing? I'm just here to let you know that I had absolutely no reason to check those five locked rooms for reasons I won't get into now for story purposes and because I later discover why further into the video. So just so you know, you aren't missing out on much. And I also wanted to let you know that you're looking like an absolute snack right now. Okay. All right. I'm gone. Bye. Rose. 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 I went through a lot of trouble to ask about this. You better have some goddamn it! Who did the baby's rattle belong to? It was for the baby. I kept it in my bedside tool. Tool. So what? Uh, Jimmy and the truth. The 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 when rattle you and the truth. To tell Jimmy the truth. Does that have something to do with the baby's rattle? The man in the shouting. You said there was only one thing you could give Hugo. Does that have something to do with the baby's rattle? I thought having a child would solve everything. I was wrong. Okay, so what? So what? That doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> When you said you had to tell Jimmy the truth, is that connected to what you said about the Hugo Punch poster? My dude. Fuck it, scrying mirror. At this point, it doesn't even matter. Is my game bugging out or is there like any particular reason why I haven't seen any of these visions? Because I genuinely never would have known. I genuinely never would have known that I needed to be down on the ground floor. This is what happens when you try to bite off more than you can chew. Because I made a whole list of rooms and what was in them and if they were locked or what they had, I, I, I broke the game basically. I broke the experience. Cause now I'm confused. Be prepared. Something's gotta happen. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. I've seen this happen before. I gotta be maybe further away. Oh, wait, 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 let me try. Let me try being on the elevator. There we go. What the hell? There's a key. Basement store. Okay. You notice shouting and falling. Can I ask Rose about this? Rose? Is someone there?
Yo. <laughs> Yo. Down to the basement we go, I guess. So that would be this room over here, I think. Or maybe it's this room. Yeah, that was the obvious option. Nope, don't like that. Hall's birth certificate, or Jimmy Hall's birth certificate. Is someone there? Okay. I'm going to assume that this is all the information that we need. I thought I had all the items, but damn was I wrong. A whole ass birth certificate? Man. Oh. oh. Is he still on this floor? Oh, I'm fucked. He is still on this floor. He very much is still up here. Why did that scare me? I should have known that that was... I, I actually shouldn't have known. It's not very often that he does that. Alright, we're going to leave the room. We're going to leave the room and we're going to turn right. Whatever you do, do not turn around. Now, Rose. I'm going to ask you some questions. You better have some goddamn answers. I heard a man shouting and a child crying. What happened? Cool. So I'm gonna add this with the paddle. I mean, not cool, obviously, but. You said Jimmy is Hugo's son. Is that connected to what you said about the wooden paddle? What does Hugo was a violent, evil, sick man have to do with Hugo being... Okay, it's I obviously the... birth certificate. It says Hugo Hall is Jimmy's real father. Jimmy is Hugo's son in every way. Okay. 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 You said Jimmy is Hugo's son. Does that have something to do with what you said about Jimmy's birth certificate? Okay, so that has to mean that the birth certificate is paired with telling Jimmy the truth. Well, you said you had to tell Jimmy the truth. Ah! Does that have something to do with what you said about Jimmy's birth certificate? Yes. Yes. I admit to it all to Jimmy. Jimmy didn't remember Hugo. He blocked out memory. Ah. Uh, well. God. Is that in the basement? Okay. Damn, that had my head hurting. I full heartedly believe you. That's why I'm politely asking you to not do that. Thank you. Oh.
No. It sounds like it's coming from my right. Straight. Straight. I should be contacting the police about this. I feel like I thought the girls would go away if I told Jimmy. I was wrong. It made it worse. I couldn't accept what I'd done. I couldn't live with myself. So maybe this and then and then the suitcases? When you said you couldn't live with yourself, is that connected to what you said about the suitcases? No! Please! Just make this last part easy for me! So she couldn't live with herself. So she... So she... So she... So she shot herself. When you said you couldn't live with yourself, does that have something to do with what you said about the gun? Ooh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick you up and I'm just gonna toss you on the floor. She couldn't live with herself. 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 There's a certain point in the game where I feel stuck to the point where the scrying mirror is heavily needed. And I think that it is justified that I use it as much as I want now because I went mostly the whole game only using it when I was really stumped. And at this point, I'm there! <laughs> Um, um, that was the turpentine and lighter. Did she set fire to the hotel? No, she couldn't have, but that was the turpentine and lighter. Why did it have the teddy bear though? When you said you couldn't live with yourself. Does that have something to do with what you said about the turpentine and lighter? I had no choice. Jimmy had gone to find Hugo's grave. I was alone. I knew all I should do. Two! We're still going! I don't care how long this video is. I said we'd be done. I said we would finish this video. I said we would finish the game in one video. Two? What more do you want me to collect? What more evidence do I need? And I'm certain that Jimmy is still on this floor. Whatever.
You suck! Is it Rose? Yes. I'm Rose. I saw you. You were on fire. What happened? I would like to, but every single time he approaches me, um, he whacks me with a bat. So I don't think that asking him anything would, um, yay, we completed Rose's story. No? Rose? Is anyone there? Rose? Talking to the dead, Maya. I know Hugo's your father, Jimmy. I found your birth certificate. The subtitles and I know are Rose off. Tried to kill him. The subtitles are but off. She failed, didn't she? Then where is he now? <laughs> well, why don't you come and meet him? It's time I introduce you to the family, Maya. <laughs> Welcome to the family, son. <laughs> Great. Cool. Great. As long as you promise not to beat me anymore. So from my understanding, they should all be buried in the basement. Maybe. I'm gonna go down and check the basement and then check that room that we could see Rose beating Hugo in. And then where she said she buried him in the concrete. Maybe. Either that or I'm gonna check the front entrance. Never mind, it's down here. This wasn't like that before. How the hell did you change the structure of the basement so quickly? <laughs> Welcome to Hugo's grave. Mother's little secrets. She mixed the concrete herself, you know, then poured it over his lifeless body and watched it set. She thought she got rid of him. But she didn't get it, Maya. You see, Hugo was just one of us. Just another log on the fire. He burned out. But the fire's been burning down the halls for centuries. Clearing the way. Lighting the darkness. Laying waste the old, and the poor, and the weak. And it's burning in you too, Maya. I can tell. We are destined to be together, you and I. No. You're the one I've been waiting for. No. Which is why I can't let you leave. You're staying here with me, Maya. Forever. No. Hello, Maya. Um, yeah, no. Maya. Maya. Yeah, no. You found the found five deadlock keys. You have five friends to rescue? No way. <gasps> wait. Wait. The rooms, the locked rooms. The locked rooms. Oh my God. Wait, are we on floor one? Oh, please tell me this is floor one. Floor one. Uh, the game will save here for the last time. Okay, got it, okay. You now have to rescue your friends, but if Jimmy catches you, it's game over. Oh shit, okay. All right, 105 is the first room we have to check. No, wait, 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 110. No! 
Jimmy hit you for the last time. Your escape ends here, but you can always try again. No! No! Okay. I, I realize now what I have to do. We're gonna save our friends. All right, so now we try these keys. Key to room 110. Girl! Girl, get your ass up! We gotta go! We gotta go! Get to the elevator as quickly as you can. She gets kidnapped again. <laughs> Wait for them to get away. You have four friends to rescue. Okay, let me check. So we have the keys for 111, 303, 121, and 115. That is not what I meant to do at all. I'm just going across the hall. I'm going across the hall. But I might get killed by hall. Wait, no, shit, 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 shit. You too, come on, we gotta go! We gotta go! <laughs> Get to the stairs as quickly as you can. I didn't know that the end of this game would be so fucking intense. Oh. Nope. 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 <laughs> oh, this is intense. Perfect. 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 No, oh, shit. I keep doing that. 115. That's why these doors were locked. There's people in here. Should I be looking through the spyglass before sending them out? Get to the elevator as quickly as you can. Are they getting away? Cause I'm, I'm hearing like screaming. That's a little concerning. We have 121 and 303 now. I'm just gonna go in here. He very much knows that I'm in here. Or maybe he doesn't. 121. 121, 121, 121. All right, girl, go, go. Get to the stairs as quickly as you can. Go, girl, go. Run as fast as you can. I've got one more friend. One more friend. And she's lucky if I even, if I, <laughs> she's lucky if I even get to her. <sighs> come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, fuck you, Jimmy! Fuck you! Fuck you, Jimmy! Ah! We 
we're making it out the hood, baby. Was it 303 that I need to go to? I'm getting sweaty. Oh, I'm getting sweaty. almost done I had one more friend and then after that it was just make it back to the elevators get down to the lobby oh my god oh okay 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 go in go in go in help your friend oh she's got dyed hair she's the cool friend Get to the elevator as quickly as you can. I don't think that it matters when you send them out. You rescued all your friends. Cool. Now we just need to get away. The last person released. Now find the exit and get out. That I can do. I'm gonna make it work. Nope, this is not what I meant to do. At all. But yes it is. Yes it is, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is not fine. He could probably still get me. This is not fine. Oh my God. Maya, go. Maya, Maya, Maya. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. The exit key is the first key that I, when I open the tab, when I open the notes tab. Even though my friends have all left the building, so I shouldn't even need to use the exit key to leave. But you know, video games. That's the wrong key. What? What? What do you mean? Hotel exit key. What do you mean? Hey. What do you mean? Oh! All your friends got out safely. You completed. <laughs> ah! Ah! I never want to see a hotel again in my life. I don't know why the subtitles are so ahead of. This was good. This was good.
and each of us is another whom we do not know. This is true. There's two sides to a coin. He speaks to us in dreams. Hold on, wait, wait, I gotta get more personal. And tells us how differently he sees us from the way we see ourselves. Carl Jung. You can see them at dead of night. Hey, hey. That was good. That was good. Actors and actresses, they all killed that. Every single one of them. Every single one of them deserved that paycheck. Hey. Ah, oh, damn, that was good. And all the support actors, actors and actresses, yo. Yo. I don't even know what to say about this. It was so good. It was like everything leading up to the end. Personally, I know that Maya wanted to save her friends. I know, I feel like saving her friends should have been the first thing that she tried to do. I, sure, you know, getting all the information, figuring out what happened to the people in the hotel, trying to figure out, you know, why Jimmy is the way that he is, great. I get that you want to dive into the deep and get all this straightened. But your friends should have been your first and only priority. That last section was really good, though. That was so unexpected. I thought, you know, we were going to figure it all out. We were going to run away from Jimmy because honestly, after a certain point, after playing the game for so long, you kind of forget the whole reason why you're still here in the first place. Because nothing, absolutely, if I were in that position and I was, it was, I was the only one in that hotel, I would have taken one of those chairs, thrown it at the door and left. But then you remember, oh, she's got friends that she needs to save. If it were me, I would have forgotten everything that I have been through. I would have completely forgotten that I still had friends in this hotel. And then what was he planning on doing with everybody? Was he going to kill them too? That's fucked up. So to give you a full recap, I don't know when the events of each of these stories took place, but Rose was the assistant to the great Hugo. He was a magician and he was a teacher before that. I think she fell in love with him. They got married. He was abusive to her, but she was still in love. When you're in love, you are blind to all red flags until it's too late. They then had a child jimmy hall jimmy did not remember that he was the son of hugo because of all the beating that he took for two years which could go both ways in terms of storytelling you really don't develop that strong of a memory until you're at the age of like five or six but then traumatic like intensely traumatic events can you can really remember those like trauma blocks out a lot of stuff and so because jimmy was abused so much in his childhood he blocked all that out but it also could be because he just wasn't old enough to remember like i said it could go both ways in terms of storytelling afterwards because he was so traumatized and because he was such a troubled child living in this hotel he tried to make friends doing the only thing that he knew how and that was being mischievous so he started torturing people he started causing problems in the hotel. I want to say that he might have been roughly around the same age as Amy, if not just a little bit older, but he got her drunk and threatened her several times and told her not to tell anybody. And then she fell down the stairs. Jimmy's a bad person, but I'm not even going to say that his actions are justified because it's Rose's fault, really, for one, not telling him the fucking truth, and two, not putting this kid through some goddamn therapy. I'm done.
I enjoyed this game. I had a lot of fun with it. We are done with At Dead of Night. Thank you for joining me on this wild ride and uncovering the mysteries of this hotel. If you're new around here and this is your first time watching the series, I don't know why you started on the last episode, but subscribe. Why not join the family? It's free. We're on the road to 500. I don't know if you peeped that yet. If you want to see my last video, which was the Slay the Spire, a new series that I want to start, that'll be linked somewhere around here. If you want to see the full playlist of At Dead of Night, I will have that link somewhere around here as well. I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there, especially if you're going to visit any abandoned hotels that may have had a couple of murders happening. Just, just be careful. Uh, take it easy. And big body out. I never want to see Jimmy. I never want to know anybody named Jimmy. I never want to see another hotel a day in my life. I'm gone.